Good morning at Anthem Chapel. Happy Monday. Today our motivation comes from Habakkuk chapter 1, chapter 2, and chapter 3, where we read, Habakkuk prays to the Lord and says, How long, O Lord, must I cry for help, but you do not listen? How long must I cry out to you violence, but you do not save? Why do you make me look at injustice? Why do you tolerate wrong? Destruction and violence are before me. There is strife and conflict abounds. Therefore, the law is paralyzed and justice never prevails. The wicked surround the righteous so that justice is perverted. That sounds like every conversation we've heard for the last two months. But listen to the Lord's response. God says, look at the nations and watch and be utterly amazed. For I'm going to do something in your days that you would not believe even if I told you. Now, I'm sure that Habakkuk's heart soared when he heard that until the Lord continued and said, For I am raising up the Babylonians to execute my will. And Habakkuk said, Wait, the Babylonians? Those people are wicked. Haven't you seen what they've done to your people? Don't you see how they behave? Now, the Lord goes on, and, he, and I'm paraphrasing now, but he says this, now, I see everything. I see their wickedness. And I see so much more than you see. I actually see every brick that's been laid with bloodshed. I see every board that's been built in iniquity. I see it all. And no one is getting away with any sin. But you, my child, you must trust me. For the righteous must live by faith. Now what happened in Habakkuk's heart is, is he let the word of God penetrate him, he found the peace of God guard him. He looked up and he took his eyes off of the situation that was surrounding him in the world, and he looked up and he saw the promises of God coming to pass in his life. And the Lord actually gives him this radical vision of God's return. <clears throat> and it says this, Lord, I have heard of your fame and I stand in awe of your deeds. Oh Lord, renew them in our day. In our time, make them known in mercy. God came from Taman, the Holy One from Mount Paran. His glory covered the heavens and his praise filled the earth. His splendor was like the sunrise and rays flashed from his hand where his power was hidden. My friends, amazing things happen when we take our eyes off of the world and look up to the word to see what God has for us in the future. And I do believe that the word that came to Habakkuk is the same word that comes to us. God says, look around at the nations and be utterly amazed. For I'm going to do something in your days which you wouldn't believe even if I told you. Now here's the funny thing about this. God has already told us and we still don't believe. The Lord is very clear about what the seasons are going to look like before he returns. And you know what that season looks like? It looks like 2020. It is amazing. And the Lord says the same thing to us. I see everything that's going on around you. I see the governments, and I see the iniquity, and I see the lies, and the microchips, and the conspiracies. I see it all, and yet I am still in control. You, my children, you must trust me. You must live by faith. Here's our exhortation today. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. As an American, when I look around and see what's going on, it grates against my very soul. It really does. But we have to remember that God has called us to be more than Americans. God calls us citizens of heaven. And as citizens of heaven, our king has a decree for us. He says, you are my ambassadors. As an ambassador of Jesus Christ, our job is to look like Jesus Christ. And the, world, the word tells us that in his presence is the fullness of joy, and at his right hand are pleasures forevermore. So this is our charge to you today. Go out and be full of joy. In your presence, let there be pleasure. When people bring up the conspiracies and the weirdness, point them back to the word of God. Tell them this, Jesus is coming back. It says so in his Bible says so in his word. And here's the great thing about it. He loves you. So I want to pray over you today as you go out this week. Lord, I do. I pray. I ask in your name, God, that our hearts would be set upon you, that we wouldn't be looking around at all the craziness around us, that our eyes would be fixed on you, that vision of your coming 
the promises of your word, the power of your spirit. Oh God, fill us as we go out today. In your name we pray, Jesus. Have a wonderful day. God bless you guys. We love you. Bye-bye.